Hey there, Shirley Rocks here. If you've stumbled upon this video, then you are curious about why your keyboard suddenly decides to turn itself off in Windows 10. Now, I don't know if this is a problem with the SteelSeries keyboards in general or if it's specific to Windows 10. After doing a little bit of research of trying to fix this, I suspect it's a problem with Windows 10 having certain settings enabled by default. Now, the problem I was having was the mouse would, not the mouse, sorry, the keyboard, after a period of time from between 15 to 30 minutes, would randomly decide, hey, your keyboard doesn't want to work anymore. Now, it was lit up, so you could still see the Steel Series logo lit up. However, when you press the Windows key or buttons, it wouldn't do anything. So that popped up then, as you can see, so I know it's working, but it wouldn't pop up. Now, I thought it might be a problem in the Steel Series engine software because I've got this installed. If I bring it up, so I'd, I'd gone into here and thought, you know, maybe it's some setting in here and it isn't. And I vaguely remember having this problem in the past, but I couldn't figure out how to fix it. But I found out how to do it. So what you want to do uh, is go to your power options. Uh, these these are all the default settings, by the way. So this is why it occurred for me. If you go to change plan settings and then click on advanced. Now, if you scroll down here to USB settings and you see a section here, USB selective suspend setting, expand that. By default, the setting for that will be enabled. So if you click on it, uh, choose disabled and then OK and then go back in. And then once that's uh, set up to, to like that, your keyboard shouldn't go to sleep anymore. And I've, I applied this about an hour ago and I'm still going strong. The keyboard hasn't been disabled. So it must just be a standard Windows 10 setting that puts your USB driver to sleep. So if you're having problems with a device like the keyboard shutting down, then try that. Um, I had, had heard that the Logitech uh, cameras suffer from the same thing. I've not had it happen to mine just yet, but if it does happen, I'm going to go for the same process and do it with that. So hopefully this video is just going to help someone you know out there watching this video because I couldn't find any videos on YouTube that gave a guide of how to actually fix this. So... There you go. So if I ever get stuck with this again, I can look at my own video and fix it. So that's it for now. I uh, hope, hope you found this useful and I will see you in the next video.